So let's, I guess let's just dive right into this. Um, so like your forte, right? Is acting, singing, you know, I see you posting your sing videos on Instagram all the time. So if you kind of bring us back and let us know how that all started. Yeah. So, uh, I've always been interested in the performing arts. It's always been something that really was fascinating to me from a really young age. Um, How I kind of got started in this is I decided one day when I was maybe five or six that I would audition for a community theater production of the musical Gypsy. I ended up getting a part and immediately from the minute we started rehearsals, I was like, this is what I want to do. You know, even from that young age, I knew. Um, How old were you? I was five or six. Five. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So my next audition yeah, I think I was, was... Still my pants back then. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't we all? Well, I didn't know how to tie yeah. my shoes. Man. Um. <laughs> so my next audition after that was for Annie on Broadway, and I made it to the final four for Molly, and I I, I loved everything about that process. I loved the work that it entailed. I loved um, singing for people. And I loved the I loved everything about it. Shortly thereafter, I landed a role in Les Misérables um, on tour. I was on that tour for a year. Uh, I made my debut at seven years old. I just turned seven. Wow. Yep. So wow. let me let me interrupt you a little bit. So at five or six, if I'm not mistaken, that is a uh, an age where the brain probably isn't very developed yet. No, so I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if you made that decision by yourself. Is there someone that influenced you like into this space and gave you the advice that you needed to be so successful? Yeah. So my mom is an actress. She's super oh. successful and I love her, but I probably wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't have her guidance and her advice. She's one of the smartest people I know. Um, you know, she tapes all my editions for me. She gives me notes when I need them. She gets me from place to place. She's definitely been like my biggest supporter and has been immensely helpful. So I have a question. Did she push you to do this first audition Not at in all. the play? Not at all. She actually really? was kind of apprehensive to let me do it. Um, you know, she huh. knew how grueling and unforgiving this industry is because it is. It's really, really hard. Um, yeah. She knew that and she was like are you positive are you like 100 sure that you want to get involved in this and i was like yes i am so did that was that. did you have did you have any like at that age like idols or someone that you looked up to that made you want to dive into that really quickly Probably like, my mom yeah mom, what did was she broadway movies tv like what'd so she do my mom um her name is emily bauer she <laughs> nate bauer fitness <laughs> nate bauer <laughs> fitness. <laughs> nate bauer <laughs> fitness my mom has been in pokemon <laughs> since i was born she's pokemon wait mm-hmm. pokemon yep wait, no 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 what? it's oh, pokemon that's right. it actually pokemon. is pokemon not pokemon fun wait. fact wait like cards yeah. or no this chair no, like is so show in the movies and she's been in oh. Yu-Gi-Oh and dragon ball z i think and wait like uh, as like a voice like dog. over yeah she's a voiceover artist but she was also she uh. did a lot of musical theater growing up um she was in the european tour of hair and a bunch of you know i stuff. was actually in my fifth grade play i was actually an oompa loompa oh Very word oh, that's <laughs> and for the costume social too and for the costume um, social, wait, you... social. Yes, I remember that. Oh, that was great. I like that a lot. Yeah. So um, if you guys didn't know already, uh, because I'm sure we have some listeners that know that we all go to camp together. So that's facts. how we met. Yeah, we. that is how we met. And um, I, I have a question kind of regarding that. So we recorded an episode like um, – <laughs> last week and surprise <laughs> we are we are uh human so this isn't our first time doing the uh yeah. this episode this is my first time being interviewed however we decided to do this on a whim yeah so i remember you um you mentioned well you, you mentioned it today like you're excited to embark on this uh on this journey and when we when we kind of just shot the idea at you for this podcast i mean it's no surprise yeah, about dude. your your following on instagram and your your <laughs> uh career accomplishments what made you want to join the show with the three of us that i just thought it would be really fun i mean i love you guys and like 
you guys are funny and smart and witty, and I just thought it would be a really fun idea, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, and kind of like going going back onto what we began with, like, how did you get into it? Mm-hmm. What was what was that first thing, or have you had that first thing yet? That you were like, oh shit, like this is it. I'm like, this is gonna be my career. I'm gonna do this, like, and I'm successful at it, and I'm good at it. Here we go. I don't think I truly realized the like how big of a deal this was until I was in Matilda. I played Matilda uh, right, for about right. a year on tour. I remember you would walk around camp and that was the only <laughs> thing you'd wear, your Matilda <laughs> jacket. Yeah. My Matilda jacket was so comfy, yeah. dude. So comfy. It was like a um, raincoat. Yeah, no, when it was a rainy day, I had my Matilda raincoat because all the kids on tour had them, and I was like, I need that. But when it was a rainy day, I would wear my Matilda jacket. Um, You know, I actually vividly remember, like, us four on, like, the the middle page at camp where everyone, like, kind of hangs out. And Dennis is rolling uh, around. And Noah Birnbaum, or Dennis, (laughs) as we call him, (laughs) he started rolling around on the oval. He was like, a little bit crazy back then. (laughs) Yeah, just a little bit. How old were we then? Uh, 10 11. Or 11. Yeah. 11. Oh my god. Also, fun fact for you listeners that didn't know, me actually had like a huge crush on uh, Dennis. Used- and then uh, <laughs> and then he cut he kind of messed up. I messed up. We're not going to talk just, we're not going to talk about the mistakes. Premature but... mistakes, premature mistakes. I was 11. I was yeah. 11. Yeah. Dennis, I love you, but I don't want you. Dennis, Dennis was you. like seven back then. I don't know. I ship 11, it. So. Seven. I, I ship it. No, but definitely uh, going back to your question, Jared. My when I first when I realized like I was good at this and that this was kind of a big deal is my debut uh, playing Matilda. It was opening night. We were at the I don't remember what theater it was. Uh, we were in L.A. And, you know, there was a bunch of really, like, prominent people there. And it was opening night. And I remember getting a standing ovation from everyone in the crowd. And I remember getting so emotional when I was bowing, like, you know. How like, old were you? Ten. Ten. Oh, my gosh. Maybe, no, no, no. Nine. I just started fourth that grade. Is, that is crazy. Um, I just started fourth grade. And I just remember wow. being so overwhelmed and so sure that this is what I was going to do with my life. Now we all way up. Don't be used as easy as a layup. Fucking late, stay up, stay up.